my bad. I had the mute button on. So, my bad. <laughs> now, can y'all hear me now? <clears throat> All right. So, sorry about that. I had the mute button on. But there's no comment. There won't be no comment. No comment section today, not this morning. And uh, but the uh, so let me start over. Father, you get the honor and glory for this in Jesus' mighty name. So <clears throat> these last three days, um, they have been a a test. They have been a test for me. <clears throat> they have been a test. And y'all know that the last year, past year, there has been <clears throat> turmoil that have happened in my life. And I've heard, and you know, when your blessing is coming close, you're going to keep going through these kind of things, right? I heard all that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, you know, man, you know. So, yeah. But last night, well, for the last three days, there's been a test for me. Every day I got tested for three days. I got tested for three days. And last night in, in my dream, Satan was in Satan was in my dream. So basically, the things that I've been dealing with in life, the enemy gonna try to throw a lot of stuff at you that he don't want you to get away from. He don't want to let it go. He don't want he don't want to let you go. He don't want you to he don't want you to come arrive where the Lord wants you to be at. He don't want none of that. He wants you to stay down. He don't want you to, he wants you to die. Basically, that's what he wants for you. He wants you to die, right? So that's basically what he wants you to do. He wants you to die. So, um, so in my dream last night, I'm in my old house and back in my parents' room, I see this fella. I see this fella sitting on the bed. I see this fella sitting on the bed in my in my dream. I ain't know who he was. He was a pale fella, pale white fella. He was just sitting there, bald headed fella. He got the shape of a man, but it was a, he just had a little eerie had a little eerie look about himself. Had a little eerie look about himself. But I didn't know who he was. I ain't even never go bother him. For, 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 I was up front. And he was back there. I wasn't scared or nothing like that. I didn't know what, who he was. I didn't know. So. I um I dog on it. At the end of my dream, I decided to go back there. I said, let me go back there. So I went back there. And when I went back there, he got up, like finally. And then when he stood up, he was pale white. He had the demonic eyes. His face was like half white, and the other one like half dark. It was dark. And his eyes was these <clears throat> demonic looking, I don't know how, whatever you want to say it. I don't know how you want to call it. They, would just, they look demonic. They don't look like our eyes. The pupil was, the pupil looked like they could be like reptile eyes or something like that. They said they can be just like that. So he grabbed my arm and tried to pull me. This Satan. I knew it was Satan. I just knew it was the devil. He grabbed my arm. And it just for y'all to know, ain't no comment section. So don't worry about comment. I ain't got time for the foolery. So he grabbed my arm and tried to pull me down, like towards the ground, towards hell. And uh, so I doggone it. Um, I broke loose from him. I broke loose from him. And, and when I broke loose from him, he stood up. He was all in my face. I saw the scales. He, he looked like a reptile. I'm going to tell you what a reptilian looked like. He had, he has blue, blue, a blue color all over his body, but the small scales, all of them, small scales, look like a reptile. I had like reptile eyes, and when I got, like, he was close up in my face like this. The devil, now, this is straight devil, in my face like this, Satan himself in my face, trying to, trying to intimidate me, trying to scare me. He was all in my face like this, and so... So I ain't quite understand that first, but then I realized it was the devil. I realized it was Satan. So I started hitting him with scriptures. I started saying stuff. This Satan, this Satan, straight Satan in my face. I knew it was Satan in my face. And he was talking crap. What they doing? Hold up. 
Oh, he was talking crap. And he was like, basically like stuff like, uh, he was going to kill me. Uh, I wasn't going to, he ain't going to let me go. It was just all kind of whatever the negativity was. That what he was trying to, he was trying, he was saying to me, uh, the devil going to try to do everything in his power to stop the call in your life to happen to you. He's going to try to do everything he can. And that's what he tried to do to me last night. He's going to try to do everything he can to stop you from going forward, right? So y'all know I had got guns for them, brothers, and stuff that have a crazy stuff. I've been in the van talking about it. Like, man, this stuff crazy. I don't know what's going on. But let me tell you, for a lot of people, you are where I am or, or coming out from what I just come out of. And what I'm walking into now, I'm walking into, I'm walking into... Uh, 100% the calling because the Lord got to test you. He got to try you. He going to put you in things. So so when you walk in the place where he wants you to walk, you're going to remain there. You're going to stay there. Satan going to try to take it from you. Satan going to try to kill you. Satan going to try to try to try to try to do everything to, to, to throw you off a track. He going to intimidate you. He'll come in your dream, try to scare you. So this man was in my dream all in my face. He all in my face. And I just started hitting him with scripture. I just started hitting him with scripture. The Lord will never leave me nor forsake me. Uh, then I'm then he he big. Won't he don't want to leave? So I pushed him out the door. I pushed him out the door. He coming back in. Um uh, I said, we he told me, he said, you ain't gonna beat me. You ain't gonna beat me or something like that. I said, we shall overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony because he was scary it's a scary feeling i ain't gonna lie it's a scary feeling to have satan in front of you it's scary like a son of a gun i don't give a damn what nobody said that crap it was scary at the same time but i started getting stronger i started getting stronger and um uh, and uh, so i pushed him out the door and then it's like my head like I, I had my boys with me i don't think that my boys i think they were little demons trying to portray like my boys or whatever i don't know because they they were so distracting like when I'm trying to rebuke these things, the devil, um, they were distracting. Like they was just distracting me. So that's why I don't think they were my boys, but they was in the in the house with me, just yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, and I'm trying to get them out the way. I don't want them to get took, like or whatever by the devil or nothing like that. It was Satan, and I pushed him out the door. And I when I closed the door, I looked out the door trying to see he was gone. The some gun was sitting outside the house. He had these long, long blades come out his own hand like the Wolverine. He swung at me. Whoop! He hit my left arm. And I felt it. I'm like, ah! But it, it, it went away real quick. Then he tried to come up on me, like trying to kill me. They were last night, trying to kill me. He don't want me to go into the promised land what God had for me. He want me, and, and, and to be honest, it ain't even me. It's the Lord that make it happen. It ain't even me that can put myself where God want to be at. Thank God that he kept me. You know, it's crazy. We, I can honestly say we don't get the honor and glory for, for going, for doing none of this stuff. We don't get it because how in the world did I make myself get here? I didn't make myself get here. It was the Lord the whole time. He, it was him that got me here. So, boom. Then I realized he can't touch me. Like, he tried to swing at me, hit me, he nicked me just a little bit. But when I realized he can't touch me, he couldn't grab my throat, he couldn't stab me, he couldn't do none of that. And I got a little stronger. I got a little stronger, so I'm starting hitting him with script, hitting him with script. He getting weak and weak, he trying everything, he's saying all this kind of stuff, he's trying to swing at me, but can't do it. Then I close the door on him again. And then, and then when I close the door on him again, he hit the door like that, he... He hit the, he was knocking on the door, and I opened the door. He was looking like one of the fellas from my neighborhood, trying to trying to uh, uh, camouflage. Well, you know, trying to uh, disguise himself. That's the word. Trying to disguise himself to look like somebody from the neighborhood, so I could let him in the house. And I was like, heck no! Nah. I said, you ain't. I called the man name. I said, you ain't him. He said, I sure ain't him. He said, just like he said, I sure ain't him. And. Instead of, instead of trying to get me, instead of trying to get me. So I'm hitting him with the scriptures, hitting him with the scriptures. I push him back out. Then the third time, a second devil came. The second devil looked like Kamala Harris. In my dream, the second devil looked just like Kamala Harris. 
Big Demon, Big Demon started screaming out. And I, start, I said, the Lord rebuke you in Jesus' name. The Lord rebuke you in Jesus' name. I'm saying this stuff. I'm saying this stuff. Let me give you the revelation. There is power in the name of Jesus. But if you don't believe in Jesus, now, you may holler yourself a Christian. But the thing about it, there's power in Jesus' name regardless. And regardless. But it only will work for you if, if you believe in Jesus. That, that, it own, that name will only work for you because... Think about this Bible story when those the, or them people were trying to cast out them demons in Jesus' name and them demons didn't leave. He said, Pete, I know, Paul, I know, but who are you? And them demons beat up on them. So Jesus' name got power, but it don't work. Well, it works, but it don't work for you if you ain't in Jesus. It don't work for you if you ain't in Jesus. So, so, so in the dream, I kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And then I, I looked up in the sky. I said, Jehovah. I said, Jehovah. Because, they, man, they kept trying. They kept trying to kill me. They kept trying to come at me. They kept trying to come at me. I said, Jehovah. I said, rebuke them to, uh, to hell, Father God. Rebuke them to hell. And they were standing outside. A demon like Kamala Harris just kept saying, he has no right. He has no right. He has no right. And she was mad, man. That demon, that devil was mad as crap. They kept, the demon, the demon just kept saying, he has no right. Like, he had, like, I ain't had no right to go forward in Jesus' name because I ain't gonna lie. I done had my problems in life. Demons done trying to do all they can to kill me. I ain't gonna even joke. But that demon kept saying, he has no right. He has no right. And, um, uh, so I pointed at both of them. I opened that door. Then I'm now I'm strong now because I realized they can't touch me. I realized they can't do nothing with me. So I'm strong as a mug now. So I look at them. I'm looking at these demons. I'm looking at the devil. And I'm looking at the other demon. I said, the Lord rebuke y'all back to hell where y'all came from. And the dude fell on here. The dude uh legs, the demon, or well, the devil, his legs fell loose. Like he fell weak. He hit the ground. Uh. And he slid towards the house. He was leaning on the house like they were leaning on the house. Both of them were leaning down there uh, because the word of God just beat them up. I would hit them with scripture. Everything would just pop into my mind, doggone it. And if I ain't remember a scripture, God heard God, like when I said, I was saying Psalm 23 because he said, the devil like, ain't nobody with you. Jesus ain't with you. He said, Jesus ain't with you. I said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Uh, he made me lie down in the green pasture. He lead me beside still water. He restored my soul. And I forgot one. I forgot the next scripture. And I heard God say, he leads me down the path. I said, he leads me down the path of righteousness for your name's sake. I'm saying, I heard the Lord when I forgot it. I heard the Lord say, he, lead, um, he leads me down the path of righteousness. And I heard him. I said, he leads me down the path of righteousness. Um, uh, for his name's sake, yea, though. And I looked at him. I looked at that devil. I said, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow death, I shall fear no evil. Then at that moment, he was all black. Boom! He turned all black in front of him. And I said, yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow And I'm looking at him. I shall fear no evil for thy rod and thy staff is with me. Uh, thy rod and thy staff uh, is with me. Thou prepare, uh, what is it? Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Now I know my head with oil. I'm saying that dog on scripture. And he just he was just like, ah, you know, ah, whatever, ah, you know, all that. And, uh, and, uh, so, and boom, when they were laying on the side of the house, and then he would, then he was like, you ain't going to beat me. I said, we should overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. I'm saying all this stuff, all this stuff. And he just, see, see, I got tempted for three days to backslide, if you will. Three days. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I had, I was, I was placed in a position to backslide, if you will to drink, but I didn't, every day, like, when you, when you ain't doing something, like, when I remember when I stopped smoking weed, you can, everybody was trying to give me all the free weed, everybody was trying to get me to smoke with them, but before then, I had to pay for it, but when I stopped, everybody was tr trying to give me free weed, everybody, man, I got some weed for you, I got some weed, I got some weed, Got all, everybody, everybody got all trying to give me weed. So the same, like when you ain't doing something, they try, then they make it easy for you to come back. But I'm like, nah, heck no. Nah. So, like, I was like, nope, nope. Second day, nope. Third day, nope. Then on the third day, 
a family member of mine that I've been praying for who's been struggling with stuff that were doing that was on a bunch of crap. I prayed for him. He broke down. He was like, man, I ain't never gave God nothing in my life for these 33 years of my life. He said, man, I'm about to give God everything, man. They were th on the third day. On the third day, he broke. He was crying. He said, man, I feel so good, man. He said, drugs ain't got nothing on this feeling, man. And then I was just praying for him. And I pray. And I said, man, I've been praying. It felt, I felt good. He said, man, God, he was just, so God, he said, man, I'm about to get him my Bible. This is my cousin I've been telling y'all about. He said, I'm about to get him my Bible. He said, man. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do right. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that. I'm about to do that. So God broke something with, in him. And that even though Satan was trying to get me, I didn't do it. And I think that did something. And it, it, it affected him. And he was just giving God glory. He was crying. And he was, the Holy Spirit came. He said, man, I feel something. Oh, he said, I don't know if it's the Holy Ghost. He's the only thing is the Holy Ghost. I think he was scared because he ain't never felt that. He said, but man, it felt so good, man. It felt so good, man. And so, uh, Bless God, bless that. I wanted to share it here because I'm like, man, godly. I done seen it in all my cousins. But anyway, God breaks stuff in their life and bring them to them. So, um, and so when I rebuked them, the man, when I looked up and said, Jehovah, rebuke these demons, rebuke uh, them in your in Jesus' name. The male demon, he disappeared. Poof. And then the female demon, she didn't want to let go. She just kept saying, he has no right. He has no right. Look, at just like Kamala Harris, she said, he has no right. He has no right. And this, and then I said, the Lord rebuke you in Jesus' mighty name. And then, like, she kind of melted in the ground and disappeared. Poop. And then I woke up. I woke up just like that. So. <laughs> people be wanting breakthrough. I realized something about all of that. I realized something about all of that. We want things from God, but not realize we got demons and devils that attach to us that don't want to let us go. And that's why a lot of us don't get to that place where we want to be at or where God want to be at. Only thing I can say about my life I've done, I've always talked to God about every single thing to help me with it. God has to break those demons, those devils. He had to take you through tests. And now from that, he let me know, Mac, okay, now you on your way now. You on your way now. I've dealt with, you're on your way now. When Jesus, when he got started with his ministry, what happened to him? Jesus didn't, Jesus didn't get uh, tempted for 40 days he was out in the desert fasting 40 days but i think on the last three days he got he got tempted with the turning the rock to bread um uh, bowing down to satan i give you all the kingdom and jumping off a high high place those were the three things that happened god did not do none of them and then after it was over with the bible said jesus was hungry and i think that's when his, his days were over with it was similar to how i felt because he three days i got hit tempted every day every day every day but i didn't give in the lord helped me see me through it because he gave me a vision about it in my sleep that this was gonna happen and it happened right before me now and man this is this is it i'm on my way to do the will of god and what i'm telling you is you planning on going forward with god just know you have to and then i said in the box then i said in the dream i said the word of god said i think i said resist the devil he should flee i believe i said it and um, so, man, the Lord is he brought he he allowed me to defeat the the devil trying to come at me, doggone. But now, man, now I ain't like I've been feeling good anyway. But now I ain't like I can't even be stopped no more now. Like I can't even be stopped no more now. Like it, it's my time to cut up. Satan don't want me. Satan don't want me to come through this mother because I told you the reason why I know I was the least popular. When it comes to YouTube or whatnot, because I'm the one of the realest people ever. And I and he saying to a lot of YouTubers to keep doing what they doing because they ain't hitting on nothing. And I realize they ain't hitting on nothing. And I ain't trying to talk about nobody else, but I realize how the Father is. And I realize how Jesus is. But the Father God is all about being real with him. And I look at so many people around and you not and they not being I you 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 ain't nothing wrong with coming drawing close to God. You supposed to do that. But the reason why so many people are attracted to others, and it ain't got nothing to do with me. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It's just that 
the ones that do the most damage, they the always the quiet ones. They the ones that that's at the back. And I told you all the time, I'm the least of these. I, I God already told me, he said, make you the last, you the last. Let it, I know I am because when I get up in this mug, when I get up in this music, when I get up in all of this, I ain't shutting down for nothing. I ain't got to have the biggest, but I'm going to make the most noise for Jesus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go the hardest for him. But the other platforms you see, why they so filled with people? Because everybody on that same boat of being the same. So they're going to follow somebody that's just like them. You ain't like, you may look at Lovey, you may look at all these preachers, but let me tell you something. Let me give you the revelation. And all, we already know just because if you got a big church, that don't mean that don't mean you you anointed. I mean, you may be anointed to do a work, and I know everybody on a certain level. But what I'm telling you is this: you see people that think that look like they up here, but actually, in all actuality, in all actuality, it's just that they in a place where. You, I mean, maybe God just put them in that place, but it, it. But mainly, what I'm telling you is, when you really effective for God. When you really effective guy and going knowing you're gonna be, you're gonna be the least like you're gonna be the hated one, you don't you're gonna be the un, most unpopular one, you're gonna be you be different to people, you ain't gonna look like, you know, you you gonna look unnormal, you ain't gonna look normal, you ain't gonna look like, you know, none of that. And I know that's how I look. And you know, that's why a lot of people that'll come in like, man, something is strange about this man. The only thing is strange because you ain't on the level I'm on. I can tell a lot of them you not. I, I ain't trying to say nothing to you. But I know the Father's heart. I know Jesus. And I know how this stuff get, go down. And I know that the Father is about joy. And I know that he's about out of everything. Else. It's not about Satan. It's not about demons. It's about coming into the joy of God. And, and having that joy, man, and being free for real and enjoying him and enjoying life. And... That's the when you get on that level in Christ, you there, you are there, like you there. And when you on that, when you in that place that you done cried to you and done all that, Satan gonna try to do everything to you. But he one thing he don't want you to spread is that joy. That while all the Christians they look sad, he don't mind. Let them keep. They look so sad and depressed. Y'all get mad at me? It don't matter. But that's the truth. If you ain't got that joy of Jesus, man, you'll be the you. If you. You will last on YouTube for a thousand years or in life a thousand years, but when you got that joy, it's gonna break through. It's gonna break through, but Satan gonna do his everything possible for the world not to see that joy in your life. He gonna try so hard for you to not see that joy in your life. He gonna try, and they try with me, and and man, but he can't do it. Can't be stopped. So, man, yeah, man. So I'm happy as always. Thank you, Jesus. So, yeah, I want to tell y'all that, man. So, yeah, I'm good. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling wonderful. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all be blessed. Hey, hey, come up in the Lord, you know. And and when I say come up, man, just fall in love with Jesus. This is Mac, man. I'm gonna get out of here. Enjoy. <laughs>